Murder, satanic cults, a beautiful young woman and her baby sacrificed to the devil. Was this a horror film or a chilling real life drama? For director Roman Polanski, the line between truth and fiction was often difficult to distinguish. But was it more than bad luck at the heart of Polanski's outrageous misfortune? On our list at number three, the Polanski curse. People say that Polanski is cursed just because he's had a life which has far more unpleasant, cruel coincidences than most people would expect in one lifetime. By the time he was a teenager, Roman Polanski had already suffered through tremendous personal tragedy. He grew up during the Holocaust, you know, he witnessed atrocities, he was orphaned. But by 1968, 36-year-old Polanski had made it to Hollywood. He married 25-year-old actress Sharon Tate, and by 1969, the couple were expecting a baby. The director was enjoying the success of his dark thriller, Rosemary's Baby. The film starred Mia Farrow as a young woman expecting her first child, who unknowingly becomes the target of a satanic cult. I shot the last scene, a phone booth scene, in pitch hysteria. There was talk of Polanski's being in contact with Church of Satan leader Anton LaVey as research for the film. My grandfather is said to have played the part of the devil who rapes Rosemary. LeVay's involvement has never been confirmed, and when asked about rumors his movie was cursed, Polanski called the idea ridiculous. Then, on the night of August 8th, 1969, one of the greatest evils ever unleashed in Hollywood arrived at Polanski's doorstep. Sharon, their unborn child, and four house guests were butchered in a chilling late-night murder spree. The body is badly mutilated. Uh, this I'd rather not discuss. We see a lot of blood all over the place. Cradles, baby clothes. Years later, Susan Atkins, a former Church of Satan member, spelled out in gruesome detail how she slaughtered Sharon Tate. She asked me about the baby What did you say to her? I told her that I didn't have any mercy. Atkins claimed she and her accomplices were acting on the orders of criminal mastermind, Charles Manson. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here. Eerie similarities between the Rosemary's Baby storyline and the shocking murder were difficult to ignore. Rosemary's Baby is all about a pregnant woman and a strange cult of Satanists. And really, that's very similar to what happened with the Manson murders when Sharon Tate was eight months pregnant at the time of her death. How do you feel about this new charge, Charlie? Today's a good day. Every day is a good Why day. Why are you talking? Manson was sentenced to life in prison without parole. In 1977, Nearly a decade after Sharon's grisly murder, Polanski could not escape the dark shadow of the curse. Polanski was booked here at the West Los Angeles police station for forcible rape of a minor female. The 44-year-old Polanski pled guilty to unlawful sexual intercourse with a 13-year-old. But he fled the country to France just hours before his sentencing. He has yet to return to the United States. When we come back, what chilling mistake cursed this scary movie and caused the death of its cast? Producers actually used real skeletons. I began to get very creeped out. Kenner is in for